Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is going to be my uh, February haul video. This is everything that I got in the month of February. It's actually mostly, or is it actually pretty, it's pretty split, I guess, this time. It's uh, video games and movies. Um, I don't usually show video games because I don't, you know, they're not movie related or anything. But it's since I bought so many this time, I figured it's probably uh, worth mentioning. I guess I don't buy video games very often anyway. But um, since I bought so many this time, um, I figured I'd include it. Since, and also because, as you can see, I only have, what, eight or nine things this time. And that's less than usual for me. So I figured to pad some of the video, I would do more stuff on here. So anyway... Uh, it's all, the video games are all PS4 games, and the movies are all, well, the race. I don't think I have any DVDs. No. Um, the first uh, PS4 game I got is Battleborn. It's still in the wrapping, actually, because I'm considering just selling it. I only bought it because it was $2 and, like, 40 cents on Amazon. And I figured I could probably sell it for 5 on eBay. I haven't decided yet. It's an online-only game, I think, so, I don't know. Might just keep it and put it on the shelf. Who knows? Who knows what I'll do? I also got Destiny 2, which I, I played um, the first Destiny uh, back on the Xbox 360, uh, excuse me, the uh, Xbox One back in 2014, whenever the hell that was, I think. And I thought that was fun, um, but I never, I didn't beat it or anything. I played it for a couple of hours, and uh, well, actually, I probably played it for about six or seven hours. And uh, I enjoyed it, but I. The, I don't play online very often, so it required some of that aspect or the grinding, and I didn't, you know, didn't fall into that. I know some people who liked it, but I heard this is better, and I think it actually adds a campaign. I actually don't know, but it was this was about six dollars, six or seven bucks, and that's why I bought it. I also got Steam World Dig Two, which I've actually bought once before and then flipped for nine bucks, I think. I bought it for five bucks from Best Buy. I think it was, again, five bucks at Best Buy, and I got it, and I figured I'd keep it this time, because it seemed like it could be kind of like a platformer of some sort. I really don't know anything about it. Um, it comes with a poster, but um, I, I have no idea. I was on a spending spree. I also got uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. I played the first one, um, Shadow of Mordor, back when that came out, and I enjoyed it. I haven't played any of this. This was ten bucks, I think, at Best Buy. Around ten bucks anyway. I think it was ten bucks, but like I said, I haven't played a second of it. Um, I don't know. Again, I was just buying things. So I feel like I haven't bought a PS4 game in a while, and now I made up for the last two years. I also bought Days Gone for. This was the most expensive. This was twenty five dollars at. I think it was Best Buy. I price matched at um, Target, and I had a five dollar gift card, so I got it for twenty bucks. I haven't played any of this, but I've heard it's pretty good. I was waiting on it to be around 20 bucks, and I figured with the sale and price matching it, it was the easiest way to get it. I'm guessing it'll be around that or less Black Friday this year, but, you know. I got it now. It's like biker zombie stuff. It sounds like it's interesting, but I never, you know, never got into it. Dishonored 2, I played Dishonored 1 on the Xbox 360 back in 2012 or 13, I think. And I enjoyed it. Never played the second one. Heard mixed things, but, you know, mostly good things. And I figured, this was also about 9 or $10. I think it was actually around 9 I got this from, um, it might have been from Best Buy. I don't remember where I got everything. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey I got for about 15 bucks. Um, and the disc is in my player, because I just downloaded it, or, you know, installed it. I haven't played any of it yet, though. It's apparently really good, apparently very open world. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since Black Flag. Um, is that true, actually? Yeah, I think that's true. On the PS... No, on the uh, Xbox 360. Um, and I kind of was bored of the Assassin's Creed series for a while because I didn't like, like the main storyline, the modern storyline with that Desmond Miles and shit. I didn't, you know. And I think it's, it sounds like they got away from that and just, like, straight-up games now. I don't know if there's actually a tie-in, but this is apparently good, so I figured I'd try it at some point. Agents of Mayhem, I only bought this because it was $4.99, I think, uh, at Best Buy. I think it was clearance. Um, I played, um, this with the same people, I believe, that made, um, what the fuck, Saints Row. And I liked those games, and I figured this might have a similar feel to it. Although, I think this might be online, too. 
I don't know. So I guess I don't even know if I'll fucking play this either. So, but it was five bucks. So I figured, why the hell not? And the last game I got was Deus Ex: Mankind Divided, Day One Edition. Apparently, even though I bought this many years later, so I don't know how that works. I played uh, the other one, uh, Human Revolution. I think it was called back in two thousand thirteen or something. I had it for the PS three. Um, and I enjoyed that game. I don't know if I ever beat it. I probably didn't, because I don't beat games anymore. But this seemed, seemed interesting. It was about 7 or $8 on Amazon, like Marketplace or whatever it was. Brand new. And again, I figured, why not? Um, day one has got a agent pack, digital OST sampler, extra in-game mission, and digital books. Okay, so it's like, you know, the usual shit. But yeah. Don't know anything about it besides that. It's got that same idiot from the first one. Well, not the first one, but you know, the recent one. Anyway, those are the games, and here's the movies, the main stuff I usually buy. As you can see, it is lighter than usual. There wasn't a lot that came out this month that I was terribly interested in, but there were a few things, obviously. So, first thing was Color Out of Space, H.P. Lovecraft's Color Out of Space, starring Nicolas Cage and other people. This I mainly got because it's... H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, and I love his stories, and I think his world universe is interesting with Cthulhu and that whole uh, mythos. And uh, hearing also that they're going to make more of these with the director, uh, what's-his-face, Richard Stanley. And it's getting pretty decent reviews, actually. I figured, why the hell not? It sounded cool. I wish it came with a digital, because I like having that, but um, this is fine. I got this for uh, $17.99, I think. From... Best Buy, I think? Yeah. It was also that on same price on Amazon, I think. But yeah, I haven't seen it yet, though, so I don't know how it is. But I've heard good things. I got Frozen 2 because I I just, I don't know. I, I got it because I, I keep collecting them. I haven't seen it. Molly's Game I got because it was $5 and I wanted the digital. And there it turns out the digital's only in uh, iTunes because of bullshit. So I, I don't know. I have the movie, though. I, I like the movie. I saw it a while ago. Not bad. Knives Out. I almost made a video about this. Like, you know, an unboxing video. And then I didn't because I didn't fucking care. Because I was like, eh. I watched it the other day and I enjoyed it a lot. I'm glad they're making more of these, uh... What's his name? Benoit Blanc, I think his name was? Yeah, Detective Benoit Blanc. Uh, it, was, it was a really fun movie. I thought it was very good. It was like a nice little, like, clue-like movie. Who done it? With lots of characters, and it was really fun. I enjoyed it. Everybody did great. Uh, Anna de... Where is she? Over there. Anna de Amar... What's her name? Anna de Armas? Anna de Armas? Armas? I don't know. She was great. Uh, he was great. He was great. Everybody was great. Everyone was awesome. It was great. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Very cool. It's got a slip cover. It came with this slip, so I don't need to use one of mine. Very cool. I recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. I got Valentine because uh, it was on sale for like 17 bucks on Best Buy account. I took a gamble that it would have the slipcover, and it totally did. I had heard every, everyone else that I talked to that bought it, it said it came without a slipcover, so that's awesome. I haven't seen it yet. I was going to watch it on Valentine's Day, but then I just didn't get around to it, and then now it's the end of the month, so who cares? I guess I'll watch it next year. But anyway, I was lucky to get a slip for that. Uh, let me do these first, I guess, and I'll do the criterions last. I got Ford v. Ferrari. I did do an unboxing of this, and you can watch that if you want. I watched the film, and I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it, yes. But I feel like it was a little... It didn't have a lot of replay value for me. It was okay. It was not bad at all. Good performances. Um, I'm not a huge car person, though, so maybe that's partly why. A lot of car talk, a lot of stuff, like NASCAR-type speeds and whatnot. Uh, but it was still good. Worth a watch, at least. Um, and then I did a video on this too, so you can check that out if you want more information. But I started watching this uh, with my buddy Sam, and I think we're on episode four or five. I'm enjoying the hell out of this. It still pisses me off. This was canceled because there's so much potential here. Very cool show. Honestly, it makes me pissed off just thinking about it. Stupid fucking Warner Brothers. I hope they bring him back in some capacity, at least in the other universes, because it's just too interesting of a character. But I'm enjoying what I've seen so far. Of that shit. If you want more, you can check out my video. And then I took part in the flash sale on Criterion's website, and I got three things. Because I always get about three things to get over the $50 threshold for free shipping. 
And I got um, Notorious, an Alfred Hitchcock film that I have not seen yet, but I meant to buy uh, since it came out. And I was on, um, I had a DVD of it somewhere. I forget. I wanted to watch it multiple times, and it's like I never got a chance to. I was going to watch it, and the disc was cracked, and someone else had it, and the disc skipped. So it's like I never got a chance to watch this fucking film. And I finally just decided to buy the Blu-ray. So I'm going to watch it, like, hopefully this week, but, you know. I probably won't watch it for a year. <laughs> but I got that. I got Medium Cool because I Robert Forster just died this last year, and I forgot about this film. It's been on my list forever, and he stars in it. He's like a, um, a photographer or something. Oh, yeah, a cameraman. Mr. Wilson about Scamping. And I just found it interesting, and I figured I don't own any Robert uh, Forster starring films, and I wanted to get it. It's not interesting to me. Medium Cool. Star, uh, directed by Haskell Wexler. Haskell Wexler, from 1969. This is by number 658. I didn't tell you the notorious one. That is 137. I guess I could show you the features and stuff on here if you want to pause and look. I don't have any insight into these films. I just collect them like I always have and watch them when I can. I like supporting them. Criterion releases and whatnot. Medium and cool. This is from 1969. I said that already, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. And then finally, I got Two Lane Blacktop. It's another one that's been on my list for a long time. I just never got around to picking it up. From 1971, spy number 414. Starring James Taylor and somebody else. Lori Bird and someone else, I thought. The Beach Boys, Dennis Wilson, their only acting roles. <laughs> and you can pause that if you want. But I, this has been, a, like, again, a movie that's just like medium cool. It's been on my list for a long time. I just never get around to buying it because other ones that just spark my interest. You know, they add movies every month, and I, they usually have one or two that interest me, and I'll end up putting it to the top of the list. Or, You know how that goes. Here's the features. This is, what, when did this come out? This came out in 2013, so. Actually, what did medium cool come out? Also 13. Interesting. I think Notorious came out last year. Yeah, in 2019. So yeah. That's what I got from that. I know... Did I get anything else from Criterion? I think I showed you those ones from last month. The ones I got from Target, so... I guess that is everything. Let me just grab and push everything back over here. There's that, and then a bunch of games. Yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah. That's it, guys. Uh, a, m a much smaller month than usual. I guess the games might have made up for a little bit. I think total this is like $75-ish in games, which is a lot more than I spend on games usually, but I figured for the amount of games. This right here, this, uh, this content of games, uh, Assassin's Creed and Deus Ex alone, not to mention Days Gone, it, it would be, and actually Shadow of War is fucking huge too, so it's like, uh, this is like a year and a half worth of actual gaming. And we still have Last of Us and Saturn, um... Last of Us Part 2 and Cyberpunk coming out this year, so obviously, even if I start some of these games, I'm not going to be, I want to be stopping them once those come out, because I want to play those more, but um, anyway, what the fuck am I doing? There, whatever. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, I don't think I have anything else specifically coming. There's probably a Spielbook or something coming, but you know, I don't have any. Oh, hey, Star Wars is coming out. <coughs> Excuse me, Star Wars uh, Rise of Skywalker, which I haven't seen yet. I've heard a lot of shit about it. Um, I'll probably unbox that. Otherwise, I don't know. I think I'm, I have an order from Kino coming in, so maybe I'll add that to the end of the month. Maybe I'll do an unboxing of that. Who knows? Or maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm kind of getting less and less um, interested in doing these, honestly. It's just kind of, eh, I don't know. Um, but I'll do them occasionally, you know. Maybe I'll just do these month ones videos instead. But um, I'm rambling now, so... That means it's time to end the video. So thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you again on the next one. Keep watching other videos if you want. Keep watching mine if you want. Subscribe, all that crap. I don't ever say that push the button, all that crap, because I don't care if you want to or not. That's awesome. If you want to stick around and, and, and comment and whatnot, that's great. I try to keep up with comments, but I don't always um, remember to. So um, it's great if you stick around. I try to keep on track with stuff, but um, don't take it personal if I don't. And I don't take it personal if you got... You know, negative comments, if you want to download it, it's whatever, you know. It's not a big deal to me. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of getting less and less into the YouTube stuff because it's just kind of become a job for a lot of people. And so I've, I never treated this like it was a job. It was just more of a 
creative outlet occasionally. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will talk to you again at least a couple more times. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.